I'm Rick Longstreth with Accurate Drilling Solutions. I'm the owner and we've been in business for about four and a half years now. We are a well drilling and pump system contracting company in Tampa, Florida. We do some residential, commercial, and light industrial work. And we just love Grunfos products. One of my favorite products is the SQ pump. They are just so versatile and so easy to install. In Florida, whenever we're doing retrofit applications, we have a lot of saltwater intrusion and we have calcification inside the well, where a traditional four inch submersible pump, you will have a very difficult time getting in that well, but that three inch slides in perfectly. Today, we're gonna to show you how to properly install the SQ in a retrofit application. Select the correct SQ model for the well based on the depth of the well and the drawdown level at the maximum pump capacity. The SQ can be installed in a vertical or horizontal position. If there is a risk of sediment buildup in the horizontal applications, a flow sleeve is recommended. Before starting work on the pump, make sure that the electricity supply has been switched off and that it cannot be accidentally switched back on. Disconnect the wiring to the oil pump and remove it from the well. The diameter of the SQ makes it easier to handle when compared to a four inch. The SQ weighs just 14 pounds, but has a higher starting torque than most conventional three wire pumps. This means you get the same powerful performance with a pump that installs quicker. You are now ready to install the SQ. We'll start by wiring the pump. Even though smaller gauge wire can be used on this product, ensure that you have the correct size for your pump model. Begin by cutting the motor leads off, then cut the ends of the drop cable so that the ends match up with the motor leads. Strip off one inch of insulation from each lead, making sure to scrape the wire bare to obtain a good connection. Be careful not to damage the copper conductor when stripping off the insulation. Make a connection between the wires by inserting a connector or joining the wires. Then use heat shrink to seal each of the connections. Once the connections are complete, double check that the pump is properly grounded and connected to an external main switch. When you're ready to lower the SQ, attach the first section of riser pipe to the pump. Do not lower or lift the pump using the motor cable. The pump should only be gripped by the two flats at the top of the pump. When plastic pipe is used, a stainless steel safety wire is recommended for lowering and lifting. In this case, the wire should be fastened to the eyelet of the pump for lowering. When lowering the SQ, ensure that the installation depth of the pump is at least three feet below the maximum drawdown level of the well. The SQ has a maximum installation depth of 500 feet below the static water line. The bottom of the motor should never be installed lower than the top of the well screen or within five feet of the well bottom. When the SQ has been lowered to the required depth, a well seal should be installed. When the pump is secure, a new pressure tank should be added to the system. Because of the SQ's start-stop capabilities in the ECM motor, a smaller tank can be used. This reduces the cost to the homeowner and the amount of space required for the well system. To maintain system pressure with the SQ soft start feature, it is recommended that the tank pressure setting be approximately five PSI lower than the pressure switch cut-in setting. The pressure switch should also be examined for any signs of damage or wear and replaced if necessary. The SQ's ECM motor has built-in protections and requires no additional accessories. When you are ready to turn on the SQ, start with the discharge valve closed approximately one-third. All pumps need a little back pressure to perform adequately. Due to the soft start feature, the pump takes approximately two seconds to develop full pressure. This feature also helps to reduce noise when the pump is operating and eliminates water hammer. To ensure the motor is properly cooled, the pump flow rate should never be set to a value lower than 0.2 gallons per minute. Lastly, check the flow of the pump for any signs of trouble, including sediments or sudden flow rate drops. These could be signs of a problem with the well. Once installed, the Grumpus SQ is maintenance free and reliable, delivering many built-in benefits and protections not available in a standard four inch submersible. For more information on the Grumpus SQ, visit grumpus.us slash SQ.